This is the North American HD Youth Camp for 2015. It's been a lot of fun. It's so great connecting with all the different youth from all over the U.S. and Canada and just meeting new people. It's just been such a great experience. <laughs> I really like the camp. I'm having a lot of fun. This is the first time that I've had this sort of experience with someone other than family. I feel like I always have someone to turn to and talk to. Uh, I would definitely come again. I wasn't expecting that super close-knit bond just between like the eight or ten of us in our little group. So that's been a really good experience for me. We wanted to give young people the time and the space to focus on themselves, to take a break from the family, to get support not just from professionals who understand HD, but from other kids who get what they're going through. I'd say it's pretty awesome. You know, you get to meet people that, you know, understand what you're going through. I mean, you know, they know what you've been through and what you're still going through today. The camp provides a wonderful opportunity for young people. So this is very unique in that sense. Most of these young people have never met another young person in a HD family. And now they have 40 or 50 young people in there who are from HD families, just like them. When you come somewhere like this, you really realize that you're not alone. And I think that's what a lot of the youth need to know that they're not the only ones going through this and that they do have a lot of support. People are around my age, so they'll understand it in my way. I definitely needed to find people that we're going through the same thing as me. We wanted them to come out here and be able to go canoeing, take on the challenge of a ropes course, go swimming for an afternoon. For a lot of these kids, they haven't had much of a summer. So give them that opportunity to have some fun and be a kid and then really leave with a better understanding of HD. And it's awesome just being a kid. I mean, it's good to have this kind of fun, like canoeing and this big swing that's out here. They get the support sessions, they get the educational sessions, they get that time to really better their knowledge and their wisdom of Huntington's disease because that's going to help them cope when they go back. We had a really emotional discussion about how we interact with our family, friends, and relationship-wise. It was awesome. Everyone knows exactly kind of what you're going through. You can relate so well to everyone and things that you don't feel comfortable talking to like family and friends about, you can talk to people about it here because they have more of an understanding and are on your level and it's just nice because you can feel so open to share with everyone. So we wanted to give them the tools to say, I can do this, I can take this on and I'm going to have good days and bad days, but when I have bad days, I have the skills, I have the ability within myself. I am resilient to take this on and come back from it and I am a really strong person. And when I'm not feeling so strong, I have this whole group of people that totally get what I'm going through. That's definitely what we have here is such a good support system. No one really knows what I'm going through back at home. So it's a good experience because once I leave, I could talk to all the friends that I made and they'll actually know what I'm going through and what I'm talking about. It's pretty important to have support whenever you're going through hard times like this. There are so many people going through the same thing and it's just, it's, it's, it, I might be crying but it's, it, I'm so happy that there's people out there that can support you. When they go home, we are fully there to support them and we are working with other professionals in their community to make sure they stay supported and then of course keeping them connected with each other uh, to keep that, that support and those friendships going. I get to like bring new knowledge back home and be able to use those strategies with my mom that has HD. Most of us came in strangers but in the end we're all family. I did not think I would make like this close of friendships and relationships. We're friends now. I mean, she thinks we're acquaintances, but I like to call our friends. <laughs> <laughs>